I've been asked a few times what my schoolroom looks like and I thought I would show you a perfectly staged, wonderfully clean, not messy schoolroom. And then I thought, what fair is that to you? So you're about to see it in the middle of a school day. Come and play with me. our little doorway that goes into a center room in our house and the center room is what we use for our school room. This used to be a patio area and then it got roofed in after a really bad hailstorm I guess by the previous owners. So this is it. We have no central heat and air so we have a lovely box fan right now in the summertime. But just gonna go ahead and get started on this side and kind of work my way around. First, you see socks on the floor because that's just how we're rolling. And we have some um, mad posters. You can see our trash needs to be emptied, but hey, I told you I was gonna show it to you mid school day. And then we've got this lovely big um, coconut tree. I will try to find a link for this. We use Confessions of a Homeschooler's um, Letter of the Week curriculum, and so. Um, at the end of every week when we learn a letter, we add a letter to this tree and read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Um, oh, up here we have four of our religious posters. We have Fruits of the Spirit, The Names of God, um, The Armor of God for Kids, and then the books of the Bible all broken down um, into Old Testament, New Testament, Law, History, Poetry, Major Prophets, Minor Prophets, Gospels, Church History Letters, and prophecy. We have um, this lovely alphabet banner up here. Um, and then of course I try to teach all of my kids how to read an analog clock. So we have one up there. Um, and then working our way slowly over here. Um, each of my kids has a little envelope and uh, a little ticket. And at the beginning of the school day, we have these tickets clipped on, and if they are good, then the tickets go in their little pouch, and they can turn them in for rewards later. Lots of monkeys, monkeys, monkeys everywhere. I have this border, and like the little cutout monkeys are all around. Um, you can see we're learning about Oregon and Crater Lake. That's the extent of my drawing abilities. My camera will focus. There we go. Um, we have some class rules, which I just saw it had the monkeys, which is the main reason why I got it, to be honest with you. What I have up here um, is a lot of these reusable laminate type pouches that are really heavy duty. Um, and I just had some nails on the wall, so I thought why not hang some up there. Uh, I have a lot of these little command clips, so uh, we learned about Minnesota recently, so we have our paper for Minnesota, and then our little map that we're coloring in states as we go. Obviously, we need to color in Oregon. Um, we have some more math posters. We have 100. We have money. This is a cool thing. We still have to add Oregon. Like I said, we're mid-school day. Uh, I got this at Cracker Barrel for five dollars a long time ago and I just knew eventually as a homeschooler we would probably need it. Um, it just has the outline of each state and the capitals listed and as we learn about each state um, we add the little uh, final cling to it and so it's reusable. This is our second time around with it. It's well loved but um, the kids really enjoy being able to add a state um, whenever we learn about one. So you can tell we've, we're working our way across the country. And then of course we've got our regular map up here that we can use for reference. We have, trying to step over the mess on the floor. Uh, we have our little Star Wars workbooks that he's working through, extra tickets, um, the New England primer. Um, don't know how anybody could not have that. That's just a cool book to have. 
stickers because we love stickers. We have my little organizing thing. I found this on um, Amazon. I'll try to link it, but we have lots of extra stickers. I always try to keep little rewards, so there's a stash of M&Ms right there. Uh, little post-it tabs. My friend Monica has me hooked on those. I use those for tons of stuff. I'll just stick it in there. Uh, more stickers, extra whiteboard markers, scissors, file folders for different things, more sticky notes because I have ADD, some pencils for me, our CD player, of course, for when we were learning about music. I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on to get ready for next year, so that's all that up there. Uh, our lovely bookshelf. I have this lovely stack of schoolwork my kids have done that I need to put in their binders to file away. Um, I've been kind of lazy and whenever they finish um, <laughs> finish a paper, I'm like, oh, yep, looks good. I'm just going to tuck that right there. So I need to put all that up and kind of need to decorate that with something cute. Uh, we have... My mom is amazing. She got my kids the whole um, Jane Austen collection, so I have that. I've been working on building up my kids' um, classic starts books, so that one's from Half Price Books for pretty cheap. That's literally about half price. Um, so we have some, and I've got some more on the way, so they can start enjoying those uh, for next year. And we just have, we love books, we're typical homeschoolers, so we have tons and tons of books. This one is my daughter's favorite, my oldest daughter's. And of course the How to Train Your Dragon series. More books! And then down here we have um, some of his little, my son's Lego club magazines. And then extra file holders because we go through them a lot. And more books on the floor, because, like I said, I'm organizing. It's on my organizing mess. It's so cute. Okay. Um, oh, I have this little cross. Um, it's made out of palm leaves from Galveston. Um, a homeless man was making and selling these so that he would have money to buy food. So my husband and I bought one from him years ago. We have a little chair for a reading nook. We have our schedule, we have our calendar, uh, more monkeys, of course, added in. Ah! He jumped off. The, our weather chart, which I just have Velcro to stick it on there. That's from Confessions of a Homeschooler. This is from Confessions of a Homeschooler, the yesterday, today, and tomorrow chart our days in school. You can tell we're towards the end of our year, as everybody else is getting ready to start theirs. Um, I keep all my little weather tabs in there and I oh, forgot over here in my little thing I've got my days in school tabs in there and then down here is just like clips and marvelous tape and so here's my little clings for our map Kleenex extra pencils for me um, abacus because we're old school and then we have Bible, Bibles, 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 Bibles. Um, and we have a whole lot more than that, but that's just the ones we keep in here. And more books. And down here is next year's curriculum. Just waiting to get put out when we wrap up this year. And I can see you too. Uh, more books and stuff because that's for homeschoolers. So down here we have a lot of games. I bought a lot of them and puzzles. I bought a lot of our games at a um, school supply store when it was going out of business. And then um, we have the Little House on the Prairie box set. This is from when I was a kid, so it's pretty cool to me. Um, Large Family Logistics. I love this book. Um, we have some teacher manuals um, and lesson plans and things from
previous things. Uh, teach a child how to read in 100 easy lessons. That book is golden in our world. And um, we have a lot of these if you books. So if you traveled west in a covered wagon, and if you were there when they signed the Constitution, and um, if you traveled on the Underground Railroad. We have a lot of these if you books. If you lived with the Hopi, I have. This one pulled out to let a friend borrow if you lived during the Civil War. And then we have the binders. I keep all my kids' schoolwork in each year. Extra binders and folders. And um, this is the Draw Right Now box set, which is amazing. Um, this is my little treat basket for when we have really awesome days. They get a little mini airhead. So, shh, don't tell them that's where I hide them. And then our box Bob book sets and the Chronicles of Narnia and some more good books up here. And then this we just don't even ever use anymore. I need to find a new home for it. And then more games and stuff. And then we have our little toddler play area. She has all of her little board books. She has this cool book where the animals look like they're moving. Um, kind of reminds me of Harry Potter. So, chunky puzzles down here, all of her little board books and stuff she can look at. And um, blocks, we have toy bins over here. We've got little things that could be choking hazards for the baby up high and things that are safer for her to play with, like the wedgets are down low. And we have her back door that goes out to the backyard so they can play. I have some of their artwork and projects up here on display. So then I'm almost proud. We have, um, oh my goodness, I have extra little things like ripped out and ready for Miss Pre-K to work on and Miss Preschool to work on. And then all of this stuff is all letter of the week and it's all nice and tucked away and stored from the first two rounds, so. Soon I'm gonna have to get it out again. I have more calendar pieces to cut out for September. I try to stay a month ahead. Um, extra crayons, extra markers. Um, this is just like all kinds of stuff. Flashcards and um, a painting smock. My kids are crazy in the other room today. Some little art things and extra pencils in there. We have um, ah, a sort and snap. All the cards and the little pegs there. Some more art stuff. Some different um, file folder games in there. Some unfinished um, uh, lap books here. We have, let's see, down here we have the uh, pattern block set for some of the bigger kids. Some extra pattern blocks to play with. And look, more pattern blocks, because for some reason I got overloaded on those, and that one's actually empty right now. Down here is just extra stuff that needs to go into storage. And then we have all of our different paper, some extra laminate pouches, all of our, like, our construction paper and drawing paper and stuff. This is how I keep stuff organized. I'll get more into it in another um, video, but I separate um, by week. And then inside the weeks are the days of the week, so I can just reach in on any given day and just pull out that day's uh, worksheets for whatever student. We have this also off of Amazon. I love it. So we have crayons, markers, glue sticks, scissors, paint brushes, all that neat and tidy. We have some things tucked away here. Books I'm trying to sell right now because we don't need them anymore. Coloring books are down here, and then our sort and snap boards here. And um, oh, and of course, pens and highlighters and all that good stuff for Mama up here. And we kind of hijacked my husband's 
office area when we took over. So we still have Kurt Cobain playing guitar and his filing cabinets and desk. I'm very thankful he lets us borrow it. He's now got a box down there to sort through. But hey, it's progress. Uh, we have some science posters over here. And then right over here is where my son's Jesus poster normally would live, but it's taken down right now because he was working on it. My little, see, there's my kiddos playing. Um, my little nook, I have baby stuff down here. I have stashes of flat rate envelopes and boxes and stuff from when we send stuff to Aunt Portia, who I've talked about in other videos. Um, a box of stuff to go through. Um, my little desk, my easy grader, all my supplies are down in here. So sticky notes, glue stick, contact paper, when you name it, and ridiculous amount of stickers. Um, help punch and Velcro dots and more little pouches and more stickers. My husband refinished this desk, so I love this desk. And my son's Jesus poster, a work in progress. So. Gracious! Gracious! Um, let's see what else. Um, extra eraser. See, I told you it's messy. Um, some little cards I printed out that I can't use. Books I need to return. A binder of stuff I need to go through. Uh, some little pockets I need to make that are story pockets um, for my son to do this one. Okay. We have a little tub full of sticker books and stuff that the kids can earn as some of their rewards or I can grab if we just need them. And some play grab and go packs that I got for real cheap. And our book basket. See? And of course I have some of my little lizard. Gracious baby. Um from our coconut chicka chicka tree hanging out on our box. And then we have more goodies. This is where I sort out maybe my son's desk chair. Um different types of books for each year. So we have it separated language arts, math, history and geography, read aloud books, science, art and music. Um, let's see what else. We have these, Melissa and Doug. Little deals where they can spell out words. I have a silly goose coming after me. In my flip-flops, no less. What are you doing? I did Abby started it. She did? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's see. We have more little books and flashcards. Go play. Go play. We have these little crystal blocks. Let's see, sequencing cards. We have lacing cards. We have lots of different little puzzles down in here. More little foam puzzles. If you want to know the parts of the brain, we got it. Uh, and then from here on up, a lot of it is kind of the same idea. These are little puzzles. You would have to find the matching blue piece with the right number of holes and then there's pegs to go with. Um, and here we have, it's a number train, it's the same thing, number of holes for whatever numbers on the train. Um, and then just some plain foam peg boards. And they all go with pegs here. So we have a ton of these little pegs that they can pop in and out. And then we have this little board that that one enjoys. Do you like this? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You color on your face with a marker, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Anyway, it has wooden pegs and then you can either do by color or by shape or whatever. So yes. You colored on your face, didn't you? I think you did. No marker. No marker? No drop. What's, what's this? Drop. I got drop. 
What is it? The tiger stripe. Tiger stripes? Mm -hmm. It's not marker, it's tiger stripes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, your tiger stripes look beautiful. Very stylish. Okay. And then here's the middle of our room. Each kid has their own desk and own set of drawers. My baby's a squealer today. So they each have their name, some monkeys, and then a monkey that has a Bible verse that made me think of them. So each one has a different one. He has Psalm 8-2. That girl has Zephaniah 3-17. And Miss uh, Tiger Stripes has Matthew 19-14. And then all of their work boxes have a different thing. So Miss Tiger Stripes has Sophia the First from Disney Junior. And my big girl has My Little Pony. And then, of course, my big fella, he likes Legos. So all of his work box stuff is Legos. And I got the work boxes off of Amazon. These desks and chairs I found at a used um, place. Um, anyway, it's kind of like a garage sale, but it's a business that's local. And so I got all of my desks and chairs for 10 bucks. And then I think I used four packs of these foam tiles and they were, I don't know, $15 a pack because underneath is just that brick. So not, not friendly for a little feet in these. Okay. Goodness. Um, top drawer, they all have these, I tried to get all of them fun little erasers and stuff. They have pencils, markers, and um, they each got a little notepad, um, a little ruler color pencils and their paint and pretty much I tell them that's all you get for the year so you mess them up you've got to figure out a way to replace them or you can borrow from the stash but you won't have your own and then each drawer typically would have a different subject but these are the ones that have been the least touched today so and this is for my two year old so she has some grouchy ladybug lap book pages to color in that one um, a little booklet to color and work with me to put together um, what's an insect to go on her lap book in that drawer. Uh, what begins with L um, and then some extra little ladybugs here for her lap book. Um, and I believe it's from Homeschool Share. It might be from somewhere else though. We'll have to see where this lap book comes from. More ladybugs to cut and match letters later. And more, I try to for her only do like a page or two in each box. Um, we have this fun Melissa and Doug. You have to um, fit all the different Whoa. little um, buttons in. And so we, she's had some fun with those today. Uh, she's got her Color Wonder marker and paper. We have our big shape sorter um, pattern blocks down here. And then we have some more little sticker and activity books down there. So, do you like your boxes? That one. That one. That one's your favorite right now? Uh oh, do you need a diaper change? Okay. Well, that's it. You've pretty much seen um, my room. The only. Oh! There's only one other little area I didn't show you, and I'll show you real quick. And that is on the door that leads back to the dining room. My baby is ready to finish eating animal cookies and get down. Um, we have, sorry, you didn't want to see my hand, did you? That was kind of lame. Uh, we have a door that goes towards my kid's room. Um, you can see we started trying to like strip some of the wood because we were going to redo the walls and we just never got to it. I know, Pumpkin. I'm going to be there in just a minute, okay? Uh, it's okay. Um, paper towels for messy hands. We have, this is Kia Kia, who's our World Vision child. And some pictures of him during the time we've had him in a picture he drew for us. 
we have our prayer board. So we have, of course, Israel's at the top and then a lot of family members because we have a lot of sick um, family members. Kya Kya, who is this little one right here. Um, our pastor, because we always like to pray for our pastor. And then a baby brother, which we will talk about in another video. And then since we're about to study countries and cultures, I found that and I thought that was really cute. So we've got that. So that's it. That is our awesome schoolroom, awesome-ish schoolroom. I try to make the most out of it. And um, I'm not pregnant, in case you're wondering about baby brother, but we do have an announcement to make in another video. But for now, that's our schoolroom, and that's what I'm sticking to. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.